All right, from Late Night with Seth Meyers, she's a writer and performer. It's Amber Ruffin, and you can catch her on Drunk History, just renewed for season seven on Comedy Central. Ja Rule is appearing currently on Going Up Hip Hop New York. Thursdays at night on WeTV with his daughter, Brittany Atkins. Great to see you. Um, so, are you, what is your aspiration? Um, well, I'm a screenwriter and actress. Oh, great. Yeah, so very impressive. That's fine. Right. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go to Tommy from Atlanta. Hey, Tommy, what's your question? Oh, the call dropped. Sorry, let's go to Stacy from Ohio. Hi, Stacy. Hey, my question's for Amber. Okay. Um, Amber, have you booked any famous cameos for the second season of Black Lady Sketch Show, and can you tease it? I, uh, n no, and no, but you're more than likely gonna see me on season two of it. Very good. Hey. Yeah. Okay, Jermaine from Louisiana, congratulations on that show. That The last time you were here, it was a big promotion for that show, and it's Woo, so funny. Black Lady Sketch and... Show! Yeah, yeah. Jermaine from Louisiana. What's up, Andy? I have a question for Ja Rule. Okay. All right. Is it true that Ashanti sung J Lo's vocals in the beginning of her career? <gasps> no, that's not true. Uh, was that a rumor? Remember, was that a yes. Oh, it let, was. Me, let me clear this story up. Because okay. It, it is a rumor going around, and it's, so here's what happened. So I wrote "I'm Real." Okay. For Jennifer Lopez, and. Uh, I sung the original version of it as a Demo. reference. Okay. But I sound terrible, of course, on the reference. So Ashanti then sung the reference for Jennifer Lopez. And uh, when they mixed down the record, Irv left some of the vocals underneath. Oh. Ah, so, so so Ashanti does appear on so the she song. Has some, she has some vocals underneath, I believe. And that that is the rumor. I don't even know if well, it's really true. Well, but it sounds true. like you would know, though. I, I mean, don't fucking mix it. Well, no, but, <laughs> no, I know, but you you just yeah. said it as though but, that, no, is no, that is what happened. That is what happened. That is what okay. I, that is what I believe to happen, and that's how the whole story came about. Got it. Are those lyrics, are those vocals still underneath, or were they left underneath? I don't know. But that is the story, and that's how the whole thing came about. You I have heard that since time began. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? But it's J-Lo singing on the record, of course. But, right. But, but Ashanti's But there may be a little maybe, bit of a bed maybe, of Ashanti's maybe, maybe. I'm not. Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but okay. that is where the story came from. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. There's a little confusion. I no, get it. Okay. I get it. But, but, but you would have to ask it Irv. It seems pretty 100. cleared up now. No, you would have no. to ask Irv 100% if he left the vocals actually underneath the bed of... So... Yeah. J-Lo is nothing but a shanti in a wig. You heard it here first. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Do not do that. Because that, that is definitely not true. How, how could that, that possibly not be true? true. I, think that's that's your, true. I think that's your housewife's tagline. <laughs> um, but um, no, we know that's not true. Yeah. We love J-Lo. That's my she's, girl. She's J -Lo's amazing. Love her the and by the way, yeah. you know, I don't want to, like, no disrespect at all towards Shakira. But I personally don't understand why JLo is not doing the Super Bowl halftime show herself. Like, she has uh, thousands of hits. Like, she could bring on a lot of people. I don't know. So that was my, I'm excited for it. Um, be good. Let's go to CC from Missouri. Hey, CC, what's your question? Hi, Jai Rue. You're still looking awesome and sexy. Hey, Hi. would you be upset you. if your wife painted another man's penis like they did on the... Oh, would you be upset if your wife went to one of those uh, painting parties like they did on Married to Medicine with all the naked guys? Um, no, I mean, I, I mean... <laughs> listen. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea, you know what right. But if that's what, you know, she did, I wouldn't be able to. Okay. I know, not, not like that. Because I'm would not it, insecure like that. Would it be a double standard, then, if you went to a strip club and... I'm not insecure like that, Andy. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right, good. Cool. Let's go to Mimi from Florida. Hey, Mimi, what's your question? Hi, Amber. I'm a big fan. I wanted to know, what is the most annoying thing about Seth Meyers? The uh, most annoying thing about Seth Meyers? Uh-huh. The most annoying thing about Seth Meyers is that... He will spoil a movie like that. He does not give a. Oh rip. really? Really? <laughs> yes. He. He'll just come in and tell the end of a movie. Yes, but he'll act like that's not what he's doing. <laughs> Seth, it's very what you're doing. <laughs> you know what? I'll just tell him tomorrow. Right. Very good. I want to thank Amber and John Rule and Brittany for more. Click around BravoTV.com. Everybody, that was fun. Good night, everybody.
Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.